That's me, trying to pull up a partially disassembled 300 plus pound table saw up a U-Haul ramp. I might have not been in this position if I had done a little bit more homework on my U-Haul rental. So I decided to make a video about it, and I'll show you what I wish I would have known beforehand. And at the end of the video, we'll see if I can get this thing up the ramp. It all started when I realized I'd have to make a super big move from a tiny little city in New Mexico to a giant big city with casinos in the middle of the desert, Las Vegas. I had absolutely no idea how much stuff I'd be moving, but on the U-Haul website, it suggested a three to four bedroom house would be a 26 foot truck. So naturally, bigger is better, right? So I got the most massive U-Haul I could get. And boy, I'm glad I did, because I actually ended up filling this thing to the brim. Now, first things first, if I could have gotten a lift gate or something else, I would have, but I was kind of limited in my area, so I was forced to get a U-Haul with a ramp. So if you're wondering how wide the ramp is on the 26 footer, well, it's about 29 inches. Remember, these are custom made U-Haul things, so they don't always come out to the exact same size. And if you're getting the 20 foot truck, I think I remember that one being around two feet, two inches. Case in point, go measure it yourself before you rent it. Another thing you're gonna need when you get one of these trucks is a lock. Not all U-Haul stores sell the locks for these things. Usually a bare bones bull lock will work great for this, but in my case, I couldn't find one. And I bought this lock, but it didn't fit, unfortunately. So don't buy it. Oh, I ended up getting this bigger lock that did fit, but still, that's 30 bucks down the drain. Some other things I recommend getting before you start, microfiber cloths. I'm not the only one who hasn't touched stuff in their house in over five years, so when you move stuff and find dust on it, this is a great time to go ahead and wipe it off. You're gonna need a ton of ratchet straps. Bungee ties as well, but more so for just holding very light objects in place. The ratchet straps are gonna do the real work. And for towing the car, definitely get some sort of mat you can lay down on. The concrete's gonna be really hot outside, and also it's just nice when you're having to lay down to tow in the car. Also gloves. You're gonna be pulling chains around the struts of your car and it's kinda of dirty under there. What they're not showing you in this video is how utterly filthy that man's hands are after doing this. Also, I recommend getting some sort of cell phone holder because the truck does not have one in it. Luckily, I have all these things packaged together in a nice link below for your convenience. Now for the most important section of the video, the driving portion. You are gonna be driving an absolutely, utterly massive 26 foot beast. One of the weird things about the truck is that it's actually unleaded fuel. So you're gonna have to use the normal gas stations with the motorists and not the truck part. So it's gonna make you kind of awkward because you're gonna have to drive into smaller gas stations. The biggest way you can kind of mitigate this is to find gas stations that run parallel with the road. Or if you can't find that, use the outside pumps and look for gas stations on the map ahead of time so that you know what the exit will look like. I suggest if you have any doubt that your truck won't fit, keep driving and find a different gas station. This one has a big nice turnaround area so it was really easy to do it here. Now my truck averaged about a 400 mile range on every fill up. So I recommend filling up pretty much every 300 miles so that you've got that 100 miles of insurance to back you up. Expect to add at least 30 minutes to an hour to each thing that Google tells you. So if it says five hours, expect it to be more like six. You're gonna have a lot more drag, you're gonna be less maneuverable, and in general, you just can't go that fast with a fully loaded truck. And remember, you can never fully predict the weather. So I left the wind in my car because it was so hot here, but now it's storming. I had to go roll them up. I think it's gonna hail. I think it's about to hail. Oh sh! It's hailing. Ow! 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 But despite some weather difficulties, I ended up making it just fine to my new location in Las Vegas. I hope some of that was kind of helpful for you so you won't struggle so much on your move. And now, let's see if I was actually able to get that table saw up the ramp. Don't ever do this by yourself, by the way. <laughs> 